Health and community organizations throughout Wisconsin have more money to try and promote COVID-19 vaccines in underserved communities. First News at Nine's Max Cotton explains how part of $8 million will be used to promote the shot in western Wisconsin. With the Omicron variant now in Wisconsin, the state's Department of Health Services is making another push to vaccinate those who haven't yet. One recipient is Family Health Center of Marshfield. The organization's Director of Health Services, Eva Shepa, says the $100,000 grant will be used for a media campaign to reach children and their caregivers. We are looking to increase awareness of the vaccine, build confidence in the vaccine, and improve the rates for children. She says that includes engaging minority communities where English may not be their first language. We're focusing on uh, Latinx populations, Hispanic populations, the Hmong population. Another organization that received money was ABC for Rural Health. Chief Operating Officer Mike Rust says the nearly $60,000 will be used to reach more people in rural western Wisconsin. We're talking about health care issues. We're talking about health care access. Do you have any questions about COVID-19 vaccines? Are you vaccinated? Are you planning on getting vaccinated? Uh, do you need any assistance with resources to get that done? He says in addition to directly reaching out to people, the organization is trying to use its clients as messengers. We've adopted a, a kind of a say it forward campaign, which is that once we've engaged these folks in the conversation, we say, OK, are there other people that trust you? that you would be interested in sharing some of this information with. Rust adds he's seen an increase in vaccine interest over the past few weeks since the Omicron variant was discovered. In Eau Claire, Max Cotton, First News at 9. The Wisconsin DHS says it set aside an additional $13 million in COVID-19 related grant money to be awarded through late next year.